I maybe had a little ha <laughs> <at her. laughs> A little chuckle. Pillow talk. Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. I'm Sarah. I'm... And this is Tegan. <laughs> who's Tegan and who's... Oh yeah, because you are Sarah. I get it. <laughs> I also feel like you are more Sarah anyways. She's more moody. And Tegan's like up for anything. I don't remember who is who, so I don't know. <laughs> this week we're going to be talking about uh, Tegan and Sarah slash Clea Duvall's new show, High School. It's on, we watched it on Amazon, mm -hmm. and it's about Tegan and Sarah in high school. It's based on their memoir, High School, <laughs> about them being in high school. It's just one season, and if you guys don't have access to it, I think it's available on a couple platforms. You can download this week's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN that allows you to stream content from anywhere in the world, right from the comfort of your own home. You could just download Surfshark as an extension to your internet browser, and you could do this on your phone, your tablet, or your computer. So if you don't have access to high school on Amazon Prime, download Surfshark. It will allow you to pick a country that you want to stream from, and then you have access to all of that content. Surfshark will also protect your personal information by being accessed from a public Wi-Fi network. So if you like watching your shows while you're traveling or on the go and using that free Wi-Fi, you don't have to worry about any of your private information being accessed by that network. Surfshark is also the only VPN that allows you to stream from multiple devices without logging you off. So if you guys want to get Surfshark, just click the link in our video description and use our promo code PILLOWTALK to get 85% off and three months for free. All right, let's talk about high school. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that it's labeled a comedy. The first episode mm -hmm. of high school. I swear to God, if I had never heard about the show, I didn't read the book, I had no idea what was going on, I would think Tegan was going to go missing at the end of the episode. It really felt like the killing. Or, or like Mayor of East Town. Or it was like going to be like yellow jackets. It was. Like yeah. something eerie was about to happen. But then also I'm like, maybe that's just the vibe of Calgary in the 90s. It's also just the... The look is so, like, gloomy. So don't go into this if you're thinking you are going to be laughing. No. Like, maybe you're going to the show for Tegan and Sarah, but let's talk about the real reason you're going to the show, uh, because of how gay it is. Yes. How many love interests are in this show? Oh, there's a lot. At least three. Four, I would say. Mm -hmm. so they each four. have two yeah. love interests. The way they dress, the way they present themselves, I am shocked, honestly. So, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so gay. They're so gay. They're so... They are so 1990s prairie gay. It's mm -hmm. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. That chain that they wear is so 90s. Also, why do they both have to wear the chain? Like, when you start the show, it splits off and it's like, Tegan. And it shows you, like, Tegan's day. And then it goes, Sarah. And it shows you Sarah's day. And you're like, okay. But then eventually the show, they merge. And mm -hmm. they are in scenes together. Mm -hmm. And then I have no idea who is who. This it took me half of the season. You didn't know To figure time. out who was who. You had no idea. And then I'm like, why don't you just give them hero pieces? Like, give Tegan the chain. The huge chain. Because that's not Tegan and Sarah's. And Tegan has the chain. Sarah, but then, that's bad. But then Sarah had the chain. And I was like, why is Tegan, like, talking to this girl? And then Adriana would be like, that's Sarah. That's and I'm Sarah. like, but why does she have the chain? This is what's interesting. If Sarah can tell the difference between Tegan and Sarah in real life, like, you could show her an eyeball and she's like, Tegan. I can't tell them in real life apart. In the show, I'm like, they look so different. I'm like, how can you not tell them apart? I, and you can't, and you're like, I don't know who they are. If you have read the book, it, like, follows the book pretty closely. Like, I don't, I can't even think of anything that they've strayed from. The drugs. Minus the amount of drugs Tegan and Sarah did. They really put that on the back burner. <laughs> the amount of drugs is unreal. Guys, how are they alive? I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? All of the, like, high school angst of, like, having a crush on someone or, like, having a girlfriend, I was really like, oh my god. Well, especially back in the 90s. Again, I don't know what it's like now. It's probably very, very different. I related to it. I didn't relate to it in high school. Because also, like, Tegan and Sarah have no guilt or shame about... They know, like, they're gay. I don't think Tegan knows yet. But Sarah knows, obviously, that mm -hmm. she's gay. And they have no guilt about it. They're just like, whatever, that's who I am. They're hiding it because it's 1990 Alberta. Also, reason number two to watch this show, Colby Smothers plays their mom. And she's a hot mom, okay? She's a, she is a hot whoever she plays. 
shield agent, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That's true. There's a few episodes that kind of focus on the mom's storyline, and I was super into that. Yeah. Just because I was like, I just want to watch Colby Smothers. You know, she's a very good actor. Every scene, she's so good. She really went under the lesbian radar, but she is, she should be top tier. I agree. Lesbian crush material. I agree with you, Sarah. What's that, what's that board called? Your, um... Vision board? Your vision board? <laughs> you want to manifest something? Yes. She's going on it. If you've forgotten, I'm Sarah, this is Adriana. We did dress like... The same because Tegan and Sarah look the same. Uh huh. Maybe Tegan and Sarah are the reason that people think lesbian couples are sisters. Because people also think that Tegan and Sarah are a couple. Yeah. That's so it just bizarre. causes so much confusion. Like, we have been asked dozens of times if we're sisters. You know what though? I've looked back at some like photos of us and I just like briefly see and I'm like, oh, that's me. And I'm like, oh no, wait, that was Sarah. We used to have a similar like face shape or something. Yeah. Just something that we kind of look similar. We're both Italian, like, I don't know, how different can we look? One time, someone told us that we look the same from here up. So our foreheads look the same. That was but, very but specific. But I think our foreheads don't look the same. No, 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 if anything, they look completely different. Our eyebrows and foreheads do not look the same. <laughs> we look the same from here down. Below her mouth. <laughs> oh my god, below her mouth! I forgot about that! What's your favorite Tegan and Sarah song? <gasps> Oh, okay, The Con is my favorite album. So yeah, I don't it's know. really good. I also love their Happiest Season Christmas song. It is really good. It's a gay one. It's a gay, it's a gay, Christmas, gay song. Christmas song. Yeah. And we're going to get to the Happiest Season season. Which, you know what? Now we've had some time. It's been like two years since Happiest Season. And you I loved the... it then, and I still I love it I now. I love it. I don't care, guys. No. I don't care. I love it. It's funny. You can watch it every year. Yeah. It's got Mackenzie Davis and Kristen Stewart in it, and they're gay. And it has Aubrey Plaza. Like, what do you want? If you don't love the ending, the only scene you don't have to watch, like, you just stop it at the gas station scene. You don't stop it when Kristen Stewart says, it, it's it's over, we're done, and, like, leaves the party. No. No, no. Because then Mackenzie Davis doesn't get to come out. Her sisters don't get to apologize. You don't get the scene with Kristen Stewart and Dan Levy. Like, Kristen scene. Stewart leaves and says it's too late, and then that's it for you, okay? <laughs> she went to find Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> Gay holiday movies, we want more of them. Yes. More gay holiday films. Exactly. Like, where are all the gay movies this year? That's true. Last year we had a bunch that we were like, there's so many. And also Yellow Jackets. Ugh, I know they're filming season two, but I'm ready. I know. Arcane, I'm ready. Like, like we have so Ooh, much last year. Yeah. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. We talk about a lot of other LGBTQ movies and shows. They know they're subscribed. They've seen it. They've they've been here before. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, leave a comment. Have you guys seen High School? What, what did, did you think? think? Do you relate to the lesbian angst? Do you relate to Tegan or do you relate to Sarah? <laughs> Can you tell them apart? <laughs> Thank you again to this week's sponsor, Surfshark. Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. Goodbye.